So you're attempting to log into your Windows Home system and have encountered an error that says security policies on this computer are set to display information about the last interactive logon. Windows could not retrieve this information. Please contact your network administrator for assistance. As this is your home computer, you likely don't have a network administrator. And in this video, I'll show you what to do to fix this. I actually did a video on this before, but I used a camera to record the screen and I found some of this stuff was a little hard to read, so I thought I'd redo it on a VM with screen capture going. So what we'll need to do is enable another account to log in and change a registry to clear this display logon information. So if you can't get into your system, one way to boot into safe mode is to do it from this screen here. So in the lower right corner, you should see the power options. You'll click on power, hold the shift key, click restart. This prompts your computer to go into the system recovery troubleshooting options that Windows has. So once the system comes back up, we will do that. So as you can see, we have a few options here. We will click on troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and again, restart. From this screen, we will hit the number four key on our keyboard, and this will boot the computer in safe mode. Once we are back at the login screen, you should be able to log in with your regular user account and password or PIN. Once you are logged in again, you'll want to open computer management. Typically, you can do this by right-clicking the start option or start button, but as you can see, for some reason that is missing here, and that may be likely because I am using a VM. When I did this on my physical computer, I didn't have that issue. But to show you how you can launch this, you can also hit the Windows key and R. As I've opened this before, it's in my history, but all you need to type is compmgmt.msc, all one word with a period before .msc. So once you've typed that in, you can click OK, and that should launch your computer management console. From computer management, click on local users and groups, then click on users. Here's a list of the users on your system. You should have a user for your actual user account, and then there's some default ones that Windows has, or Windows has. So as you can see, there's an administrator account, but it is currently disabled, and that is indicated by this black down arrow that's next to the username. So to enable the account, right-click and click on Properties. Uncheck the account is disabled checkbox, and leave password never expires checked. Click Apply. Once the account is enabled, right click it again and set password. And then set the password to something you will remember. So this will also give you another user account in the event that you cannot access your normal user account in the future. And this account is also an administrator account, so you should have full control over the system. We will need to reboot the computer again and log in with the administrator account in non-safe mode. So to do that, you can hit the Windows key in L. Since I'm using a VM, I am going to run log off from the command prompt. And then restart the computer without holding the shift key. As you can now see in the lower left corner, we now see two accounts, my account and then the administrator account we just enabled. On some Windows operating systems, this may not show, but there may be something on the screen that says something like log in with another account. Simply click that and then specify administrator and the password. So I'll click on administrator and enter the password I set. So we are now logged in with the administrator account. We now need to launch RegEdit, so you can hit Windows key and R again, and type RegEdit in the run box. 
So we now need to look for the display last logon info registry, which is under HKEY local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, policies, and system. So in this instance, I don't have this registry, but on my physical computer when I encountered this issue, I did. So what you should see is something like this. If you're encountering this issue, you'll see a registry that says display last logon info with a value of one. This means true. We want to set this to false. So you can go ahead and enter zero and then save the registry. So then once again, we'll need to reboot the computer and now you should be able to log in with your regular user account. Once you're back at the login screen, switch back to your regular user account and enter your PIN or password. You should now be at your regular user's desktop. If you're still experiencing issues, I'd recommend contacting Microsoft support, but explain the steps that you've followed as this will help them determine what to do next. I would also recommend leaving a comment or checking out the comment section below if others have left responses as there may be other steps people have followed which help them get through this issue. As always, I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.